Yo, what's up everyone? We're still here in Spooky's Mansion and we're gonna try to get to floor or room. We're gonna try to get to the number 800 today because I feel like that's gonna give us a, a good amount of progress. And this game's, I wanna say, I wanna say it's a thousand rooms exactly. So that way we'll be making some decent headway and getting ready to finish off this series, which is kind of a bummer because uh, I've honestly really enjoyed playing this game. This has been a lot of fun and it's been really cute. But I feel like we still haven't seen all of the specimens, and I'm not 100% sure if that's right or not. So we're definitely going to try to cruise our way through as fast as we can. Hello, Mr. Pumpkin. I will never not say that for some reason. <laughs> I wonder if just the last couple of rooms is just going to have just an endless amount of those little pop-ups flying at me. That was a long room. Yep. Still on the same spot on the map that we were in the beginning. Wherever that may be. And I'm pretty interested in running into Spooky again. I hear music or something going on. Anyway, I'm pretty interested in running into Spooky again and just seeing what she has to say. Where the hell? I cannot see a thing. Is this a door? No. Oh, that's a door. Holy crap, this is... This is hard to read. Alright. This old place is somehow even worse than the new GL Labs. Although it seems to have been constructed with a much larger budget than the new lab, nothing works quite right. I can see why it was abandoned so quickly. I wonder if there's really anything here worth salvaging. Oh, good. Wait. Is that... Is that it, really? I just go back through the door? This has to be it, right? Holy crap, I cannot see shit! That's the door I came through. Hello? Can I... Go in through one of these doom doors? Oh shit, here. There we go! Sorry, I'm just kind of dumb. <laughs> Yay! Nothing. So is there an alien style specimen in this game now? Well, let's hit up all the doors and see what we can find out. All right, this facility is quite odd. Some of the equipment doesn't seem quite right, almost as if it were designed for people without hands. Also, I'm not sure if it's just faulty electronics, but the power keeps fluctuating and weird noises are coming from the air ducts. And if you heard kind of a banging noise, that was my phone falling on the ground. So we're just gonna keep going and hope that everything's just fine. There we go. I'm actually way into this area. This is really neat looking. I will say one thing, it's been really neat to see all the different environments that they've thrown into this game, because I haven't expected half of them. Oh, hello. Nope. Can I go this way? No. Let me guess. Nobody's ever seen Alien. We don't know what's going to happen in here. The hell is this? Oh. Good lord, I still have the axe. Sweet. Huh. Uh, you look like a friendly fellow. A worm or something. I couldn't tell what the hell was going on there. Jeez, alright. Let's see. Spooky just said that there were things we needed to salvage from this place. I'm starting to worry that a loose specimen may be included in the list of things for us to retrieve. The power just shut off again. Is everything broken in here? It cut the power. The hell did it cut the power? Well, I think I saw the loose specimen. Oh, okay. I don't know what to do. I can't think well. I feel strange. I'm hiding from that thing. I feel like something is growing on my skin. I can't seem to tear it off fast enough and I'm losing a lot of blood. Ooh, that is not... sound like a very fun end. Can I just get the hell out of here, please? 
All right, sure. You have to keep it close. It becomes some. You have to keep it close. It becomes something else when it gets too far away. Something I can't outrun. All right. There it is. Hi. What the hell? Nope. Oh. Wait, does it make me hallucinate? Oh jeez, this this one really does bust down the doors. Oh, hello. That was very unfair, zombie face. Wait, so do I have... Do I have to keep it close? You are a very awful looking kisser. I bet you don't even use scope. So is that what happens when I get too far away? Does it make me hallucinate? Oh, hello. What the hell? Okay, so maybe I'm not supposed to run. I really am supposed to keep it nearby. Which makes this thing incredibly annoying. What? Oh, come on, really? Oh shit, I may actually die. What does that say? You, now you have nothing to fear. Now you have nothing to think. Okay, I didn't expect to die there. Lesson learned, we don't run away from it. We do keep it close. Fine. All right, you guys, we are back to the monster now. Let's see it pop out. Yep, hi there. Hello. Okay, I remember I'm not supposed to get too far away from you, so I'll just walk backwards. And we'll just play this game. You look like a... The hell do you... You look like a shriveled up wiener. <laughs> Terrible looking monster. And I'm... Still going to... Continue with my assumption that you would be a very lousy kisser. Because you are way too open mouth, mister. Come on. I actually gotta have your dumbass follow me. Oh. Come on. Otherwise you become that weird worm thing and really start to chase after me and I don't really feel like dealing with that again because this room is fucking long. <laughs> Alright, thanks for joining me back everyone. We're in a hot pursuit, well, being hotly pursued by the monster, so... Hopefully this time I don't get ahead of our slow little wienery friend and uh, not have him turn into the weird worm thing that just crawls right up my ass. So, oop, let's get the hell out of here. But I think I am going to try to run to the door every time I see it. Just kind of speed things up because this is ludicrous. There we go. The door right there. I'm going to get the hell out of here and kiss my ass. I want to say door right here. Yep. So this is kind of going to be my strategy. As soon as we see the door or we know that it's close by, we're just going to run because, like I said, I don't want to have to be followed by this thing for friggin' four hours. I don't know if we're going to make it to room 800 because this episode's already probably dragging on. All because of our little wienery friend right there. Come on! Go get, like, go get stuck in a door or a pair of zippers or something. <laughs> oh, fuck. Okay. Shit. Oh, come on here. I'm gonna wait till... Oh. Shit. Ah, oh, come on, you son of a bitch. I don't want to redo this again. What the hell? Oh. Little Jello Ghost friend being a dick. Oh, come on. Go away. You have a restroom to go have sword play in or something? Come on. Well, I'll give this monster uh, credit. He's tenacious. And he wants to tussle, but I sure as hell don't want to. Hi, coffee cup. Can you maybe distract this guy and pour yourself into his lap? 
<clears throat> Leave me the hell alone. Shit, there we go. All right, yay! We're not being followed by penis anymore. Thank fucking God. Come on. Oh, that was too much to handle. It doesn't help that I'm a very impatient person either, so... Now, I hope we don't run into that turd head any get, uh, anytime soon again, because I really don't want to deal with him. That had to be by far the worst... Oh, fuck. Which one is this? Oh, it's this one. Okay. So I have to go get hugged, right? Is that how this works? Uh... Okay, I don't remember if I've read that note or not. But if I remember right... Okay. We have to go get a hug from a very terrible, terrible person. This is one of the worst roommates because they make you look for them. Like, a lot. <laughs> Come on! Oh, come on, you son of a bitch. Just come give me a hug. Make sure you're wearing pants this time. Come on. Uh, I don't... All right, I don't care. Pantsless hug. I'll take a pantsless hug. Just get the hell over here. Do I go backwards? Is that what the hell I do? Okay. Oh, this one is so confusing. I don't ever remember what to do. I think I heard a hiss or something. So maybe I'm on the right track. I hope. Ah, oh, there we go, I hear it. Come here. Oh, maybe not. Well, pantsless hug. Pantsless hug. Come here. Jesus Christ, what the hell am I doing wrong? Okay, door's locked. Uh-huh. Screw your note. Good hell, I'm fine. I'll take it. <laughs> this is the worst. I know I say that about every one of Spooky's roommates, but that was the worst. I don't know, penis specimen was pretty bad too, because like I said, you have to actually watch him. And slide in anywhere you don't want him to. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, I don't know if we're going to make it to Room 800 because that's going to be a super long episode if I do try to do that, you guys. So, I may be breaking this up into a couple more episodes. Alright, let's see. Make sure we're not missing a, a note or a message because... I don't know if we're actually going to get any resolution from them, but it's interesting to read, nonetheless. Mm, which one are you? Oh, you again? Oh, you son of a bitch! Don't you have, like, a ditch to lay in or something? Go away. Man, I really hope 650 is a save room because then I can get rid of this asshole. <laughs> Good hell, I'm glad I didn't try to run right there because I was thinking about it. But this seems like quite the long hallway. You have a knack for finding me in very long hallways, you ass. There we go. Come on, bust the door down. I know you're wanting to. We just bought that last week, but oh no, we can't have anything nice. You have to throw a hissy fit and fucking throw shit. Break doors off the hinges. <laughs> oh man, come on. And I don't really know what the distance is. Ah. What the fuck? No. That's 
Not what I wanted. Am I actually gonna have to fight this turd head? Oh shit. There's another door. Let's get the hell out of here. Oh man. I was really hoping for a save room. Because I'm tired of having this asshole try to come get me for a date, even though I told him no. And apparently he doesn't pay attention to the restraining order either. Let me look at him. He's not staying within or well outside of 500 feet. Alright. Oh, I'll get my kissy face on. Fuck you and your kissy face. Yeah, I take it back. This guy is by far the fucking worst of the roommates. Oh, God damn it. Go away. If I knew how long this hallway was, I would definitely run. There we go. Oh, this is not a running hallway. This one is not, for sure. I can't tell what you're doing. Are you hugging yourself or other things? Please don't be locked. Oh, go away. <laughs> I really got nothing else to say besides this just looks like a giant penis with now a vagina chest or something. This is a really gross monster. And he's a really annoying shitbag. You're still there, aren't you? You son of a bitch. Hi, spider. Can you, can you tell your friend here to, like, go the fuck away? No? Oh, please don't be locked. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how many rooms is going to follow me through. Let's go this way. He's being locked. Oh, thank God. I, the music stopped, so... Maybe now I can get the hell out of here. Oh. Goody. At least Spooky's roommate that looks like a penis isn't following me now. Good hell. Okay. We'll see what Room 700 has in store for us, but like I said, I know this episode's starting to drag on. And I'm hoping we run into a whole lot, a lot of rooms like this. They're just nice, short, and sweet. We don't run into the penis roommate anymore because he's an asshole, even though he looks like a penis. That really does take a shitload of time to have to deal with him. God, so what's the end of this game going to be like? Is it going to be kind of like a boss run where I got to friggin' face all of the roommates? I know they're specimens, but I like calling them roommates and have this weird, like, full house sort of thing going on here. Ah, this one, alright. Okay. Okay, so left. Okay, left. Right. Straight. Damn it. Left, right, left. All right. Left, right. Right. Straight. Uh, damn it. All right. Left, right. Whoops. Right, left. There we go. I, uh, hi, computer. Do you have anything new to say? Oh. Uh, I don't know if we've seen that one or not. Which one is this? Okay, we've seen the deer god. We've seen our friend red face and penis vagina okay yeah I think there's only one specimen we haven't seen yet and really do got a feeling that this game is going to culminate in kind of a boss rush towards the end which will be kind of a pain in the ass but 
It'll be fun to see if we can't get away from them all. Ugh. Thirty more rooms till a potential save room, maybe. I hear sounds, so I don't know if that means that there's one of the roommates nearby. I really fucking hope not. Is this door unlocked? Because that'll save me a trip. Fuck no, it ain't. Alright, so we go all the way down the hall. So if we're not being chased by something, that's a safe bet just to go down that hall all the way. Not waste our time with the little side door, because the little side door is probably only open if the one roommate is chasing us, because he's a dickhead. That works. Oh. I wonder if we're going to see the deer god again, because I actually really... I really like that specimen. That thing was cool looking. I like the fact that it was slinging vinyl, too. Man, we're just kind of in an endless loop of this, like, septic tank room. <laughs> septic swimming pool room. Yuck. You cleaned your guys' pools? What would be the point? There we go. I heard something crash in the background. Oh, this is a long room. Alright, what's well, at the end of this room? <laughs> a door! Good! Thank God. Oh, you actually got me there, ice cream cone. Ugh. <laughs> I did not expect that. I actually psyched myself out, wondering what was at the end of that room. They've known it was one of those wily doors. They should have in here, Doctor Wily doors. We got. Gotta... All right, I hear something. I don't see the screen flashing all weird, so it's not the wienery roommate. Right? Hello, Toast. You know what? Ice cream cone was way more effective at their job than you were. See, that actually made me jump a little. <sighs> Spooky. I hate your maps. Oh good, we're in the endless loop of the septic tank room. Yay, I hope not. Never mind. Let's see how many times we have to go through this room. Yay! Should we get on one more? Hey, at least it's different. There's no torches. Okay. I still think that one painting that we ran past looks like something from Binding of Isaac. If I see it again, because I don't feel like turning around right now, if I see it again, I'll point it out. Man, Binding of Isaac's a really good game. I wonder if, I wonder if these guys had anything to do with that. I don't know if they did or not, though. I doubt it. Hmm. Nope. But considering one of the specimens looked like what was on that painting, I don't really want to go near that painting. Is this a save room? Hey, it is. Let's go ahead and save. Boom. Any posters? Yep. I feel you, kitty. All right, you guys. Because that weenery roommate that we ran into, uh, I don't know if I'm going to make it to room 800. Well, I'm not going to make it to room 800 because I don't want to make this an extremely long episode. So we'll pick up from uh, here in the next episode. Thank you all so much for watching. And I can't wait to have you join me in Spooky's Mansion again because we're going to beat this damn game. We've only got 300 rooms left. See you next time, everyone.